Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Simin Chen, and I'm glad to present the words of paper named Causality Driven Human Modeling for Sequential Recommendation over time. Here is the outline of my presentation. Um, at first, I will introduce. At first, I will introduce the basic information of the sequential recommendation task and then show our motivation of how to model it from a causal perspective and then show our methodology and the key experiment mirrors. Um, at first, um, the task of sequential recommendation generally involves predicting users' future preference based on users' historical interaction. Uh, for each user, give, uh, we generally have a sequential interactive uh, item um, which are organized according to the uh, chronological order. Um, for, from the I1 to IT, and our goal is to estimate the probability that a user will interact with the target item at the next time step. However, it generally faces some challenges. The existing methods generally focus on modeling the uh, user item statistically correlation metric. They often presume that the occurrence of the user profiles and the item exposures are independent within the observational sequential data. Uh, however, although it is convenient for certain analysis, this assumption is usually cannot be satisfied in the viewer occasion. Uh, in most cases, um, um, Behind the user history and the real time item um, interaction, there usually exists some potential causal relationship, and it is uh, usually not explicitly observed. So, to um, and what's more, um, in the sequential data, especially when it's spanning over a long time period, it may be full with a lot of um, potential noisy feedbacks which may lead the misguide the user to interact with items that do not ma or really match their real interest. So to tackle this challenge, our key is to um, discern the uh, uh, true causal factors behind the user's interaction at each time step while removing the undesired factors, including the bias information. And our main motivation is to frame the task of sequential recommendation from a causal perspective. In the user's or the interaction sequence over time, uh, a lot of latent signals satisfying the requirement of a causal variable commonly exists. Um, so we propose the integration of a causal graph. In this graph, the black arrow indicates the causal relations between two variables, while the red dash arrow indicates the undesired paths they may produce spurious correlation between two variables. The causal graph illustrates five nine variables, the user history, the real-time interacting item uh, over the, um, at each time step, and the interaction probability the latent causal factors that may determine the user interest over the sequence, and those causally affect the immediate item to be interacted. And from the graph, we can find there exist two battle paths. Um, these two battle paths is the other undesired paths that then may introduce real-real correlation, and we want to mitigate the effect of this undesired path to or mitigate the bias. Uh, about the battle pass start from the um, view type causal factors, yes, sub I or T. It indicates the existence of the, the view type bias that may misguide the user to click on interesting items. Um, we, we can find that um, it may, this part may produce a, 
non as non causal association between the user history and the real time uh, item interaction, uh, and su uh, such a part may uh, produce some uh, uh, some um desired bias to uh, affect the recommendation quality. Uh, a typical example of such a bias is the popularity bias. Yeah. Uh, such a part may amplify uh, uh, the conditional probability of the user history given the each uh, real time item interaction. Uh, it can be considered that the popular item had the larger prob probability to be exposed to the users. So our solution is to model the interaction probability at each time step while removing the uh, uh, the the poor uh, uh, the poor affection from the conditional probability of user history given the real time causal factors. And about the second battle pass starts from the um, um, causal factors over the sequence, it indicates the shortcut bias that may overemphasize the local two item pairs um, and thus overlook the sequential dependencies. Uh, for example, in this sequence, from a um, global causal view, uh, we can find that user's activity are um, uh, central around the major US holidays. Uh, uh, especially for, for the latter uh, the latter part of the year, such as Thanksgiving and Christmas. So a suitable recommendation for this user is to recommend some items related to the oncoming holiday at this year, such as a uh, New Year's Eve party kit. However, um, the attention-based measure may focus on um, the, the last two item pairs, the last two items. And from this shortcut view, uh, the, mo the model may indicate a, the, uh, may inspire a strong indication about the Christmas decoration and then um, uh, uh, recommend the um, uh, uh, the undesired um, item. This is the shortcut bias. So if we can uh, mitigate the uh, the, um, the relation between the um, uh, causal factors over the sequence and the real time interaction, then we can alleviate such um, um, shortcut bias from a uh, shortcut view. Then here is a framework of our methodology. We develop a causality driven user modeling technique uh, based on our proposed causal graph. We autonom um, autonomously identify very causal factors at the concept level oh, oh, without relying on any predefined features and thus mitigate the influence of potential bias. The such um, operations are performed over the sequence and the uh, um, immediate item interaction respectively. Eventually, our uh, learned representation of such causal concepts can be integrated into any, um, any mainstream um, sequential recommendation metric model to enhance the um, um, accuracy and robustness. In order to identify the, co the causal aspects over the interaction sequence, we, uh, we need to meet two conditions. The first one is that uh, they should be related to the user history you, uh, and the second one is that they should be is is to the real time item interaction access through the user history. As for the first condition, we utilize the um, the variational approximation 
to estimate the conditional probability of user history given the real time, uh, given the, um, the cost of factors over the uh, sequence. And to enhance such uh, relevance condition, um, um, we, uh, we propose to maximize the, the, uh, the mutual information between the positive example and the negative example. Here, uh, U denotes the positive example, while U prime denotes the uh, negative example. Uh, by by maximizing such such decrepancy, we we can enhance the relevance. And about the exclusion condition, although we need to remove this such uh, undesired pass, how uh, however it doesn't mean that uh, um, uh, the user history, the the latent causal factors, yes, uh, sub you so can be uh, absolutely irrelevant with the real time item uh, interaction behavior. Um, um, but they they should uh, be they may be also correlating through such a part the. The cost of factor over the sequence to the user history, and then the user history to the um, uh, real time item interaction behavior. It means it means that yes, uh, such you uh, can only be correlated to the um, the real time item behavior uh, uh, through the uh, user history. So the uh, well, compare with the first condition, we incorporate the uh, usage of the uh, similarity between the um, user preference of the um, um, positive, positive sample and the negative sample. Uh, here, when the when the two users are are very similar at the space of the user representation. That uh, that the way way of the, um, the the difference between the two variational distribution um, um, would be um, uh, very large. So it means that uh, um, uh, the the pairs of similar users tend to uh, minimize the mutual information. That, that we can consider, the, we can get it the, that uh, only the uh, two users are similar. Only when the two users are similar, the, then, uh, uh, then the, uh, the causal factors over the sequence can be correlated with the real time interaction. And when they are very different, um, the such two variable would be acquired, uh, would be unassociated. So similarly, uh, it, uh, it is the same idea across the um, immediate interaction. They should be related to the, the immediate item interaction, I, uh, I sub tier of you. Then we also uh, apply the um, uh, variational distribution to um, uh, estimate the conditional uh, uh, this, uh, the conditional probability of the real time uh, interaction uh, given the potential uh, you no know, cost uh, factors uh, at each time step. Uh, then we uh, we also maximize the the uh, mutual information between the uh, poverty samples and the negative sample to tighten the relevance condition. And uh, um, and then the real time cost so factors should, be, should only be co correlated to or the user uh, history through the through this through this part. 
um, the yes uh, IOT to the real time anti interaction and then to the user history. Uh, only only condition um uh, on this part then we uh, um. Uh, we, we can get it that uh, that such an uh, undesired battle mm -hmm. part to be removed. Then comes to the experiment part. Uh, uh, here we integrate our um, um, uh, our causality driven representation into um, uh, the mainstream baseline and uh, enhance the um, the enhanced uh, version is denoted with CD. Here, CD stands for causality driven, um, and we can find that uh, the all the enhanced version as it, uh, had the improvement across all data set. It shows that the effectiveness of our causality driven representation, and that and then we notice that the three data set. Uh, span a uh, both uh, spectrum of uh, recommendation domains, uh, which also underscore that the um, the generalization and the robustness of uh, our learn causal concepts. And and here is another um, experiment about the uh, bias uh, alleviation. Uh, to uh, to uh, show that uh, whether our um, the method can uh, can really uh, have um, a poverty effect on the device, uh, we do a uh, experiment to uh, to divide all the candidate items into two groups, um, the popular group and the unpopular group. The po uh, the popularity is quantified with the number of the item being interacted, and then we can find uh, that uh, the, all the original baseline model all the dim also a uh, marker decline. It shows that popularity bias it is a uh, very common issues uh, in the sequential recommendation. And also, after incorporating our causality driven modeling methods, we can find that the performance gap has been, uh, been narrowed down. It, it is so that um, after identifying the potential causal factor and then separate the undesired parts, um, we can show an improvement about, uh, in terms of device. Then comes to the conclusion. Um, we mainly model the sequential recommendation from a causal perspective, and then we propose a causality driven user modeling method based on our proposed causal graph. Based on our causal graph, we can identify um, very potential causal factors at the conceptual level, uh, uncovering user preference throughout the integration sequence, as well as the immediate item. Um, integrations. And our learned causal concepts can be integrated into various uh, mainstream based, based metric models to mitigate the potential bias. And it can also preserve the critical context uh, so as to provide more refined predictions of user integration. Uh, that's all my presentation. Thank you.